Hey, you all, Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the West. More specifically, we are in San Francisco, California, and even more specifically than that, we are on Fisherman's Wharf, kind of an entertainment district here on the pier, lots of good seafood restaurants and attractions. And today, we are gonna walk down to the end of the wharf and check out a very, very special attraction. A Route 66 shop here in San Francisco. Despite the fact that we are uh, hundreds and hundreds of miles away from uh, Route 66. See all the wonderful seafood here on the wharf, all these wonderful restaurants. And here on Fisherman's Wharf, we have one of my absolute favorite attractions here in San Francisco, Musée Mechanique. It's an antique coin-operated arcade. In addition to just being an arcade, there's, there's uh, automatons, just amazing things in working order. Let's, uh, let's head in, I'll show you guys. This is a old bumper car here says it's from an amusement park called Playland. You see they actually have the headlights illuminated. Now all these machines operate on quarters. So you have to get us a stack of quarters. There we go. There we go. We have a prize dispensing machine. See a cook of some sort with an oven. I'm gonna put the coins in here. Let's see what he does. What's he going for? Oh, dispensed a prize out of the oven and dumped it down here and get our prize. Let's see what we. See what we got. We can open that with just got the one hand to open it with. But okay, there we go. Oh, we got a ring. I used to have a ring right there. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can replace it with this one. Here is an arm wrestling machine. Let's see if this will uh, break my arm or not. See the different levels of strength. You belong in a zoo. Oh, I guess that's the strongest. Is you belong in a zoo. World champ. The weak one is Flower Child. I guess they're uh, they're uh, <laughs> taking a pot shot at uh, at hippies. So uh, let's see how strong we are. With the quarter there, and put the arm right there. And oh my gosh! Okay, it's not easy. I don't want to be. I don't want to be the weakest person. Uh, oh my gosh! Oh, I'm a flower child. Uh, I want to be a banana crusher. Oh, oh, I can't do it anymore. Oh, so I'm just a mere flower child. Here we have a Laughing Sal. Love the Laughing Sal's. She used to be around the country at different boardwalks and amusement parks, laughing, entertaining children. There's only a few in existence that I know of. I saw one here. Um, on the Santa Cruz boardwalk, they still have a Laughing Sal. They have one in uh, Kennywood in Pennsylvania. There's one in a museum in uh, Canton, Ohio. And then there's this one here. If you know of any other uh, Laughing Sal's, leave a comment in the comment section. I'd love to show all existing Laughing Sal's. You can activate Sal here with two quarters. So let's uh, get Sal laughing here. 
Oh, there she goes. Oh, always good for a laugh, Sal. We have a fortune teller here. Grandmother predictions. Put some quarters in. Oh, there she goes. Just reading, reading the cards there. Oh, there we go. We've got our fortune. Oh, I'm having trouble picking it up. Okay. There we, there we go. You want to pause the video right now? You can read my fortune. This is interesting. Just a lamp here on top of a dresser. It says "Beautiful when lit." Or maybe we light it up with a quarter. There we go. It is. It is pretty beautiful when it uh, when it is lit. Here is the magic chair. No electricity, which I don't feel that is honest because it is plugged into the wall. I guess it probably means no electricity and that it does not electrocute you. I guess you put your coin in right here on the armrest. There we go. Very relaxing. Wizard predictions. See a wizard there with his wizardly hat. If we put the coins in this sphinx head right here. There we go. Oh, the wizard as we come alive. He reveals three rabbits. Three rabbits under his hat. Puts the hat down, taps his magic wand. One, not, tw not once, not twice, but thrice. Gives us a nod, another nod, and you see his, his mouth is moving there. Pretty interesting. And a fourth tap, and a fifth tap of his magic wand. And some serious magic here. And, okay. Oh, okay. I thought, okay. There is another, uh, another fortune there, the wizard's predictions. This is the end of the trail. You see the desolate, Western scene there, an abandoned wagon, some skeletons, including a human skull. Let's add a quarter to the scene. Oh, it gets windy. You can see the wind blowing across the desert here. Thimble Theater, they dance. It's sort of quarter for action. So we want to see these little guys dance here. Let's. Give them a quarter, get them rolling. And there they go. <laughs> what a what a little dance they do. Tapping their little feet, bobbing their little heads. Some good quality dancing there. Look at this guy. He is really, really into the dance. We see a ghoulish scene, the English execution. We see the English prison right there. I guess you have to pay a quarter to see the actual execution. Oh, we'll get the doors opening up. Do you see? Oh yeah, there's someone hanging by a noose in there. You can hear the foreboding dings. Oh wait, the doors, oh, right before the door closed, you saw him drop down through the hatch. And we do love Laughing Sal, but I also have a place in my heart for this man here, Jolly Jack, the Laughing 
sailor. A lot of laughing automatons back in the day, entertaining folks. Got the quarter. <laughs> oh, there he goes, just laughing. <laughs> that is a laugh. Still laughing. your quarter. It's an interesting figure here. Not sure what he does, but it says Visitors always welcome. We'll give him the quarter to activate him. Collector's items always wanted as he opens up his jacket there. Collector's items always wanted. I am very confused on what is even happening here. All right. Well, that was, okay. Closing his jacket. What? what? What was that? His eyes are, his eyes are still moving. His eyebrows, oh, he's opening it again. Highest prices for gems and relics. What, what are you? What are you doing? I don't understand. This is a very rare old Swiss music box. See all the different musical elements in there. Oh, see these little guys dancing here. Like this coil turns and hits the music there. Oh, these guys clanking the bells there. It's the drum beats. Here's the barber shop port. I mean, I don't know, I think Quart, maybe similar to Quartet. You see these guys here? Give them their quarter. Are they gonna sing us a tune? Oh, there they go. Singing policeman right there. It says this is the oldest machine here. It says a way to show animation. It's called a praxinoscope. Let's uh, activate the praxinoscope. I'm curious to see how the animation works here. Okay, you can see it spins. And if you look at, if you think in the middle, you can see the little girl jumping rope. Oh, that's really awesome. These things must have blown people away when this sort of thing was first invented. This, it does appear to be a whole genre to have executions. It does appear to be a whole genre to have coin-operated executions. We saw someone get hung earlier. Let's see what sort of execution uh, this will bring us. Oh, opens up. And, oh, it's another hanging. Oh, well, that was still pretty entertaining. This is called the Mystic Ray. It's this place to put my hand. I guess we put the quarter in there. Put my hand right there. And 
What is happening? What is it? What is it doing to my hand? It says, read your palm, harmless. It sends a message, no shocks. So what is, what is the message? I have a fun scene for kids here. This is the opium den, yay. Got an animated opium den here. Let's see. Oh, wow, there's like a, a dragon coming out back as you chasing the dragon is an opium more. Oh, the closet, there's a skeleton coming out. I uh, think that's opening up with their opium equipment. Um, there's opium addicts here. Oh, there's some sort of ghoul or monster peeking in the door there. This is really uh, unsettling. There's a card reader. See the face right there. It says, I guess we put the coin in and look down in there. Can you see? What's it say? A wedding is close at hand. Oh wow, a wedding. It's like this machine blows up a balloon. I think. Oh, there it goes. This is a uh, two-cylinder air compressor. Let's see the balloon there throbbing. It's got bloodshot eyes. We have a graveyard scene over here. There appears to be a drunk clown also in the graveyard. Oh, see the the, the tombstones have begun to dance, the gate moving. Oh no, some sort of ghoul popped up behind there. Oh, the drunk, watch out, there's the devil behind you. What's in the coffin? Okay, there's a skeleton in the coffin. The devil's popping up behind him. That was pretty great. All right, we'll see what this queen here does. Again, operated by one quarter. See the fortune-telling queen moving her arm. I think that is the fortune-telling motion there. And oh, yet another fortune. So, one, so the fortune-telling queen here says, you have a tendency to get involved in undue stress and pressure. Guard against that, and there is every prospect that you will enjoy a healthy life, provided you do not abuse your nutrition and exercise. Might be something to uh, keep in mind. Song of the Prairie. Looks like we have a cowboy scene here. It says, if you are easily offended, do not play this machine. Well, I am impossible to offend, so I will play the machine. We'll see what, what are the cowboys doing. Oh, no. Oh, I am offended. No one, no one said there'd be farts involved. Really? Farts? This is the marathon cycle race. It's like this is normally something you'd play with two people. You'd race the bicycles around. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah. I turn the turn this crank really fast, and he ever so gradually goes around the loop. Woo! This is a workout for your hand. Come on, buddy. I know you can make it. You got to keep going. If you stop. While you're upside down, you could very well fall. Come on, I know you can do it. Woo. There he goes, all the way around back where he started. There's Cactus Gulch, very large. Western scene. Looks like there is a lot going on in Cactus Gulch. And I want to see what's happening. Oh, wow. Okay. Fire truck right there. There's people up here in the dance hall dancing. Get the firemen pulling on the, on the bell there, ringing the bell. Oh, people still dancing. Okay, what's going on over here? Okay, we got the first and last chance saloon. We got this guy. Looks like maybe he's hitchhiking. Uh, this lady dangling out of the window there. A little, little hobo there in front of the saloon. This Whirlybird machine actually is 75 cents. That's the most expensive 
of all the machines that I've seen so far. So let's see what the whirly bird does. All right, we got a flying instructions. Oh, okay, we gotta bring it up in the air there. Oh, there we go. Flying the helicopter here with these controls. I think you gotta, okay, maybe you gotta up and down. And I think you gotta hit, maybe hit this lever so we'll let it go down. Oh, we gotta go up a little bit. This is tricky. You gotta touch that. There we go, okay. You gotta touch the uh, red glowing spots as it flies around a circle. Oh, we missed it. Missed that one. Okay. Back here we got some more modern arcade games like Cruise and Exotica. Not necessarily modern as in today, but modern as in more modern than the uh, automaton machines. Oh yeah, they got the Simpsons. This is one of the best arcade games of all time. Not heard of Robotron, but uh, Sunset Riders, this is a super fun game. It's like a scrolling shoot 'em up cowboy game. Whole lot of fun. Oh, that's Steve. It's a Neo Geo back here. A Neo Geos were arcade machines that had different games in them, and you could actually buy a home Neo Geo, but they were so expensive that I didn't know a single person that had one. Of this boxing machine here, shaped like a boxing glove. Let's see how good of a of a puncher I am. All right, we hit start right here. Oh, there we go. And I guess I punch that, and it will tell me how strong I am. So, one knuckle sandwich coming right up. What's my punching power? Punching power is three, 365. Is that, as, is that as good as Ivan Drago? Now this is an interesting machine. I guess it's a fortune telling machine, but there's actually a real typewriter inside. I'm just curious on how this works. It's a dial right here. Okay, the dial, we switch to our zodiac sign. So we will go to Scorpio. Oh no, that's not, okay, one more. Over, and we have, okay. We have Scorpio, and uh, we'll put our dollar's worth of quarters in, and we will see how this works. Oh, it's typing, it's typing. It's typing something. It says, you are affectionate and affectionate and protective towards those you love. It says you like good things to eat. Oh, that's very true. And know how to provide them for others. Maybe I provide them by others by showing them in these videos. Oh, over here. There is the fortune that it just typed just typed out. Oh, this is someone else's fortune. This is mine, this is mine. Someone else forgot their fortune, but I'm gonna remember mine. Oh, they have Death Race. This was the first ever controversial uh, video game. Of course, a lot of controversial video games over the year, like Mortal Kombat and violent video games, but this was the original violent video game. You actually had a car and you would run over pedestrians. So the goal was to just basically run people over and murder people. I think there was allegations that someone had tried to reenact the game and run over real people. I don't know if that was the truth or just a uh, urban legend. This is Theater Automatique. Sweet. The quarter there. Oh, the curtain goes up. There's some automatiques in there. Oh, there is some dancing ladies, some ballerina like dance moves there. The answer from beyond, Egyptian Ramses the Great will answer your question. It's a sea mummy for answer. So uh, we pick a, uh, a, uh, a question. We pick a question here. Uh, will I marry a blonde? Should I keep a secret? Am I stingy? Should I step out? Will I get caught? Well, I've not committed any crimes, so I'm not that worried about that. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, uh, am I a good necker? What's a necker? What's a necker? Let's see, uh, will I be successful? That's a good question. Will the carpet bagger end up being successful? And then, oh, there's the mummy. Is he? Yes. Oh, he's nodding yes. The mummy says yes, carpet bagger. You will be successful. You can't trust a mummy. Who can you trust? Here is another fortune teller. This one's kind of different looking. She's a floating head on a black sheet. Always up for as many fortunes as possible today. Oh, there she goes. Thought she wasn't gonna move. Oh, you can see her eyes actually, actually lighting up as she uh, tells our fortune. It's her hands moving over the crystal ball there. This is probably the largest, largest uh, automaton show that they have here. See a whole working farm. Not even sure where the coin slot is. Look over here. Okay, there, there is the coin slot. I guess this takes 75 cents because it is so large to get another quarter out of my pocket here. And there we go. Okay. And there we go. The whole farm now bustling with activity. You can see these two men telling each other stories. What else is going on at the farm? Oh, someone coming out of the out of the cabin there. There is some uh, some man playing a banjo there. Some other things happening. Big grouping of people here. Oh, I even see, if you look back there, you can even see Donald Duck hanging out amongst this mass of people. See all the different characters moving and acting there. Oh, there's a guy fighting with a skunk coming out of a hole. There's so much going on in this scene that it's hard to even take it all in. Oh, what's going on out here? Oh, another another uh, cameo there. You can see Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man sitting at that table over there. We have Donald Duck and Popeye. Here we test our sense of humor. We have a quarter pounder with fries. So there's some fries and then and it's pounding a quarter. So we have we have gotten, we have achieved quarter pounder with fries status. There's the old barn dance music by the Mountain Boys. So there is the Mountain Boys. We give them their 25 cents. Hope we can see them playing a tune there. Guy playing the piano. And then here are the dancers. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this guy. He's got dead white eyes. He's dancing. They hover above the dance floor there. Listening to the old uh, old barn dance here by the Mountain Boys. I, I love dancing. I love dancing puppets. Corn Cob Gulch Festival. In the slot, put your dime. See the gulches, gay old time. Looks like we got a little town here with maybe the circus is in town. Instead of a dime though, we gotta put in a quarter. Look at this. Look at the clowns running in a circle. We have the last chance saloon, people running in and out. Some people just dancing in the street there. We have a cart being pulled by a donkey. Good times. Now this is interesting, we have a Ferris wheel that we can make move, but it was actually built by San Quentin inmates out of matchsticks. You can see there's several sculptures here made by prisoners that have been animated. So let's check out the Ferris wheel here. You can see the Ferris wheel turn with people 
riding in the carts. That is really cool. See how this other prison artwork works. This is the fun house here. Oh, you can see the, wheel, the clock turning up there. These stars spin. And then you see the dancing there at the bottom. All right, so lastly we have this dine and dance hall, also constructed by inmates. Oh, there, the, the street lights light up, and then everybody dances inside. The belfry here, it says, watch the bell ringers work. So we got the bell ringers, they require a quarter. Look at this old timey quarter slot here. Oh, you can see them pulling, pulling their bell strings. You can hear the ringing of the bells as they pull them here at the Belfry. Here's a fairly intricate display here. We have Santa's workshop. You can see Santa right there and all the different rooms on which the elves are working. The quarter in. You see the coal machine turning there. And they're stirring some paint in this room. Check over in Santa's office. You have one of the elves checking this mail, this mail bag, rifling through it, planning out his trip there. You see that globe is spinning. Down here, more elves hard at work, doing their elfly duties. Up here is the sewing room where they're sewing presents. This machine is called a message from the sea. You can see the ballroom dancing here. But as we go out onto the porch here, you can see the ship there is actually moving with the waves, with the ocean. So you have them both the movement of the ocean and the movement of the ballroom dancers in here. We have the bimbo box. I'm not sure what a bimbo is, but we have some monkeys in here with instruments. I don't know, is a bimbo a monkey? There we go. Monkey band playing the guitar, bongos, maracas, and some saxophones back there. It's a great little monkey band. We have another execution scene. This is a guillotine. We saw two hangings. It's time to check out a beheading here. Oh, there's the guillotine, and is it gonna, is it gonna fall on the, there we go. Chop the head off, close the door. We don't need to see any more of that. Oh, look at this, it's my old friend, Peppy the Clown. Love some Peppy the Clown here. Oh, can't hear Peppy, but how Peppy works is you control the arms and legs through here. Oh, there we go. Push all my buttons now, don't ever stop. I'm getting the The farmer in the dell. They hold the dairy. And make his, all his different arms move. These buttons. Canned foot on each side. Hand organ grinder, drop coin for action. So you're gonna, oh, grinding the organ. Grinding the organ. Very slowly grinding the organ there. See, horrible monster, terrifying, only 25 cents. I definitely am willing to pay 25 cents for a terrifying monster. What? is okay i think it is a distorted version of my face yeah that's me that's the monster ride him cowboy here oh there he goes you see him riding the horse there that's some good horse riding <laughs> technique we are observing there is the toothpick fantasy we have a carnival made out of toothpicks Oh, there we go. You can see the swings there going very quickly. Made out of toothpicks. The train 
going around the carnival. You can see the carousel there, actually going up and down as it turns. This little car ride there. And then you can see the Ferris wheel. There actually is some sort of dancing show down there. You see ladies dancing. Let's see what happens in a drunkard's dream. I think that's the drunkard laying there drinking out of those barrels. But once you put a coin in. Oh, there are monsters. Monsters. Oh, and who's that guy up there? There's a mummy. A mummy peeked out over there. Something just came up out of the floor. That was a terrifying dream. The inquest here. Looks like we have these old buffaloes. Oh, there's a Native American there on the ground surrounded by buffaloes. Oh, okay. Buffaloes are looking around. I guess the idea is that the buffaloes normally killed by the Native Americans actually surrounded one. You can see them moving around. It's a competitive boxing game. You see those robots here in the boxing ring, almost like Rock'em Sock'em robots. So we drop a uh, quarter, and then we operate the two buttons here to make him punch. Okay, we move the boxer there, and then the triggers here will make him punch his different arms. I'm gonna punch this guy. Punch, 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 punch. Oh, I can't get him down. I can't get other boxes down go down go down go down go down 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 punch 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 how many face punches can this guy take oh my gosh I'm not even playing against someone I can't see him to knock him out oh man he's just too strong of a boxer the competition is too strong my punches are useless punch 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 come on so I guess this is Dan. It says drop 25 cents to buy Dan a drink. So let's get old Dan a drink here. Dan, you've, you've earned yourself a drink. You're gonna pour it, you're gonna drink it? You're gonna drink that drink? Oh, glug, 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 glug. Oh, you enjoy your drink, Dan. It's been a hard day of work. You earned that. There's Mechanical Mime. It says, well, Old Harry has had one too many again. You see Old Harry there leaning up against the light post. That's what the international sign for I'm drunk is, leaning against a light post. Corner. We'll see. Oh, he's tapping his foot a little bit there. See him moving his mouth a little bit. Pointing, pointing upwards, moving his eyebrows. Oh no, we have another Jolly Jack, and I just, I just can't say no to Jolly Jack. I gotta give him my money every time I see him. Susie, dance the can-can. What's the can-can? There we go, that's the can-can right there. <laughs> a lot of dancing in these machines. A lot of paying money to see robots dance. This is the future, robots dancing for our pleasure. A mechanical horse here, this one takes a dollar. So, see the, oh yeah, you can see the smooth, horse-like motions made there by the mechanical horse. You see this entire carnival here, activated by 50 cents. Oh, okay. We've got the Ferris wheel moving right there. We've got the bandstand playing. And okay, carousel rotating right there and what do we have over here 
Oh, this is a boxing match. See the boxers in there, the announcer on the outside. This guy's selling cotton candy. And here we watch the sideshow. Oh, if you like peek inside, you can see a little bit. I saw something move, yeah, some of the movie back there in the sideshow. And then out here in front of the menagerie, you see a gorilla thrashing, trying to get out. Oh my goodness. What a carnival we have here. Here at Harry's Hash House, this guy puts ketchup on his hamburger. This one doesn't have a name, but you see a sad old man caring for a giant baby and a tiny baby. Let's uh, see what he does with these babies. Okay, sadly rocking the sad baby. That is a, that is a sour bus baby right there. And here we have yet another execution. The French execution, to be more precise. Oh, oh, we got guillotine this time. We got the priest there. Oh, priest says, sorry, you lost your head. Oh, this here, this is one of the most terrifying arcade machines around, the arm wrestling machine. It says, warning, this machine has superhuman strength. It can be dangerous. You must start with flyweight and work your way from there. All right, we will uh, give this monstrosity our money. Let's see here. Ah, I don't know. I can't fudge him at all. Ah, ah, oh, now my arm hurts. This is Pixie Land. Let's see what happens when you give a quarter to the Pixies. Oh. With the pixies dancing in there. Oh, looks like they're going off to the mine for work. This is Raja Tells All. I guess this is Raja here. You put the corner in there and you place your hand down. Okay, I guess it's gonna tell me what my future career will be. Uh, which one is it? Which one is it? Am I a soda jerk? Actress, soda jerk, and actress. I will dispense soda, and I will act in movies as a female. There is an Uncle Fester electrifying machine. You can uh, says you got to try to make him smoke. One can play or two can play. But you got to hold both of these handles here. Light bulb flashing there. Well, it said you could make him smoke. I guess he's maybe out of smoke. And here's the gift shop of Museum Mechanique. It's actually a vending machine. You can buy DVDs of the history of Fisherman's Wharf. You can get some smashed pennies here. You can get yourself this beautiful Laughing Sal pin right there. And uh, yeah, you can actually, uh, I guess these are CDs that you can actually watch all the machines in action. Walking out the back door here of Museum Mechanique, and you get quite a beautiful view of San Francisco Bay out here. You can see those ships over there. And out there in the bay, you can see Alcatraz. I guess this is the USS Pampanito. Looks to be some sort of submarine. This big old ship here is called the Jeremiah O'Brien. I guess that's the uh, boat's name. Interesting fact that Jeremiah O'Brien built by Rosie the Riveter, although I don't know if they're referring to the actual person that Rosie the Riveter was based on, or if it was just metaphorically built by Rosie the Riveter, by women working during the war. Wow. 
so thank you for joining me here today in San Francisco, California, as we visit Musée Mécanique, which I believe is one of the greatest roadside attractions in this country. Just the sheer amount of automatons, coin-operated machines, coin-operated displays. I just absolutely love being able to step back in time to a different era when that was a primary form of entertainment, dropping a coin into a machine and seeing an automaton do a little dance for you. Just some great stuff here. Thank you so much. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, if you like these videos, consider subscribing. I've traveled the 48 continental United States filming roadside attractions, museums, amusement parks, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. It'll let you, if you subscribe, it'll let you know when new videos are arriving. I do upload regularly. If uh, you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, selling uh, five different styles of enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that helps go to keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.